Claudia with Crazy Island Studios. Um, so I haven't posted a video in a really long time. I think in like five days from when I'm recording this was the last time I put up a video. And I have this terrible habit of <laughs> recording a bunch of stuff and then editing a bunch of stuff at once. So I post like two or three videos all at the same time and then I don't post anything for a while because I'm making new videos. It's not a good thing. I need to do more chats. Oh, you guys are bouncing around a lot. Why? Why are you bouncing so much? I hope I don't make you car sick. Okay, I wish, <laughs> I wish y'all could see this. Um, my shirt, can you see the glitter on my shirt? I'm like shedding glitter like a drag queen. It's not even funny. But my entire car right here on my visor and on my stereo, dude, I am a disco ball right now from the sun. I am a disco ball in my car. I don't even have to move. They're like, it's like twinkling and moving around. It's craziness. It's like little fairies flying all over my car. Little fairy lights everywhere, everywhere. So I feel really bad because I recorded you guys a car chat last Friday. I did. I recorded it. Um, I was running around. I, it was, I'm, I don't even think I'm going to post it. It wasn't very good. It wasn't very fun. I didn't have much energy and it was kind of boring. It was kind of boring. It was just me doing errands and I had nothing to say. I mean, I know I have nothing to say right now, but at least, you know, I'm talking. But I, I was like, I don't know. It, it just seemed like everything I was trying to come up with was like contrived. Like I was trying to come up with something to say. It was horrible. So, um, I did stop that day into Ross for a hair dryer. I, I keep going to Ross. I stopped in for a hair dryer because mine broke a little over a week ago and um, I've been using this crazy, I don't know if you guys ever saw them, they were like this big long stick hair dryer thing and there's like a big hair dryer handle and then the end is a round brush that the air comes through and it blow dries your hair and you brush it at the same time. Sounds really cool, not that cool. It's really, really loud and whiny sounding. It's horrible and it doesn't work all that great. So I had to get a hair dryer, so I went to Ross and I, of course, of course, I found stuff. I found stuff. So I did a little haul when I got back to the house after my really boring car chat that I think was better. I haven't really looked through that yet. So I may throw that footage in at the end of this one just so you can see what I got. Um, I got like a new project basically. So it's these, um, I don't know if you guys have seen them. They're the Tim Holtz collection folios. And I know like, I, I don't know what the whole deal is with Tim Holtz right now, but I love everything Tim Holtz, which I guess is okay. I mean, I don't really care what brand it is. It's just that the stuff that he has out with Ranger, I like. So, I mean, I don't care that it's Tim Holtz and I don't really care, you know, I mean, he seems like a pretty cool guy when I see his videos, but, you know, whatever, but I like the stuff, so I've been picking it up. And this is, I guess, new, he showed it, uh, he showed it at CHA this year in 2014, so recently, or at least it was four releases this year, and they're cheap, they're cheap, like four dollars and five dollars or three dollars and four dollars uh, I think maybe three dollars and five dollars for the different the small and the large and so I got a couple because they looked really cool actually they look really boring until you see one of them done and then they look really cool very hard to find examples the only one that I saw was the one that Tim Holtz was showing at CHA there's other people who've done a couple of other little things like a folio or have made one to um, they're not there. They're not the same ones. They're different, but they're cool still. They are. But his is the only one that I found on YouTube, a video of it. So if you want to know what I'm talking about before I show mine, um, be 
because when I show it to you on camera and not finished, you're gonna be like, that's just a boring hunk of cardboard with a piece of paper inside of it. It's like, it looks like nothing. But mine is coming along. I'm doing my Hawaii trip um, for my folio. And it seems like a really, really cool way to save those memories of a trip and then you just have it all in one collection. I don't know. Like I scrapbooked and you could do page after page after page of scrapbook and then you get tired of doing page after page after page of Hawaii scrapbook. So this kind of is, I'm not really painting too much on it. Oh, I got it. I'm going to get a ticket right now. I right, slow down. I'm slowing down. I slowed down. Don't give me a ticket. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, I, I could do that, but I don't want to scrapbook page after page of Hawaii pages. It's so boring to do that. This is kind of cool because you get to put your photos in there. You get to put your memorabilia in there. Your little scrapbooking doodads, like your um, embellishments can go in there. So I'm kind of excited about it. I'm really liking the way that it's turning out. It is taking far, far longer for me to do this than I had expected. I, it's been, I worked on it most of yesterday and it should have been done. It should have. Uh, part of the problem is, is that I decided to like hand cut out some flowers and do some, um, what do you call that stuff? Glossy accents on my flowers. So that just takes time and then, you know, doing these things. But putting stuff together, I think it's mostly because I'm working out a new project, like a new type of project that I've never done before. Like if it was a scrapbook, it wouldn't have taken me that long because, you know, I mean, I scrapbooked for years and years and it, you know, kind of flows. You know, if it was an art journal page, it wouldn't have been that long, even if it was a small art journal, but, and it's not a smash book, like putting all your photos in. I kind of love that I don't have to look at all my photos page after page. Like I was able to put pockets in so you could just pull out a few photos and look at some of them of uh, different things so that, you know, you're not just flipping page after page after page of scrapbook pages for one trip. It gets kind of old, you know, looking through photo albums and some of them are boring pictures and, you know, but you want them because they're your scenery pictures or whatever. So I'm just really excited about it. It's just taking me a long time to make it because it's very different from scrapbooking or smash booking and art journaling. Very different, but it's kind of cool. So I've rambled on a really long time about it, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to do a video um, reveal of the whole thing and I'll do a flip through and show you what I did and how I did it. Um, mine is definitely not as cool as the one that they're showing at CHA, but you know, hey, I didn't ever say I could make stuff that was that cool, so it's just, it's good enough for me, and I'll show y'all, because y'all seem to think it's good enough for you too, so it makes me happy. I am having a good day today. It has, I mean, I guess I'm having a good day today. It hasn't really gotten started, I just left the house, but I am going to be having a good day today. I'm determined. And I have good stuff planned, so that makes it a good day, right? Um, right now, I'm going to the post office because I am hoping and praying that my fairy book has arrived from Letha. Um, because it should have been here and it wasn't, and so I'm hopeful that it will be here. Hopeful. I don't know. And then um, I'm going to. I'm gonna go run by Tuesday morning, just because I want to see if they have anything new. Because I've seen a couple of you post some really awesome hauls from there. I am literally only allowing myself to run in and out and look at their little paper crafting section right there, and see if there's anything I want. Then I am going to race like a crazy person to the chiropractor and try to squeeze in a quick chiropractor adjustment before I go meet my friend for lunch. So that's the exciting part. That's what's making today such a good day. So I get to go have lunch with Sarah. And if y'all are on Crazy Island Family, you know Sarah. Sarah is the queen of doodles, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, there's a couple of you that on there that do some just incredible doodles that blow my mind. 
Sarah happens to be one of them and you guys have seen a lot of her stuff if you're on Crazy Island Family you're probably familiar with it her latest one was the cutest little snail oh my gosh he was to die for cute little guy so um, she has a oh, look they're staring okay so people are staring at me from the car next to me yay because I'm all <laughs> so I'm all excited in the car and my brother just drove past me waving so he saw me talking to myself too so yeah I look like a crazy person but that's okay I don't care um so yeah um Sarah has been working on a doodle for me for a couple of weeks now she took a break because she lost her mojo for a second which is cool I'm glad that she stopped because then you can wait until you got the mojo before you do some more, right? It just makes sense to me. Um, it's gonna look better that way. And she's so awesome. I just, I can't get over it. I have seen progress photos, a few, but she cut me off when she started getting close to finish. She cut me off. So I haven't seen anything in a while. What I saw was awesome. Awesome awesomeness. Like, yeah, I'm super excited. I know it's flowers because she made flowers and they're gorgeous but um, the background and everything I have no idea a little bit of an idea a little teaser but no clue what it's gonna look like finished I can only imagine how incredible it's going to be so I am super excited I get to have lunch with her and hang out with one of my crazy island family members which is super cool like how cool is that we would have never met any other way if it wasn't for me starting this channel and moving on to the Crazy Island family and then finding out where everybody lived and so yeah it's pretty cool so if you live in Fresno and you want to hang out you let me know I will make time for you I will I will we'll do something um, we're gonna go to lunch Ew! I got gross gross stuff in the corners of my mouth isn't that gross when you get that thick so okay so we're going to have lunch at a hamburger place I don't remember the name of it I'm really glad I have my phone because it has my text messages from her it tells me where we're having lunch because I've never been there before so we'll see I'm excited new place to have lunch hanging out with a new friend um, we had tea a while back and we had a great time and I got to look through her art journal and see what she's doing and it was loads of fun so I'm really looking forward to lunch today and getting my doodle I'm so excited but that's that's pretty much what I have going on and that's why I'm I'm having a good day today I'm just gonna have a good day today because I only have good stuff planned hopefully at some point I'll finish that Hawaii folio project and get back to work on my other stuff because I haven't worked in Hannah Montana I do have the next page recorded that helps so I can edit it and put it out for you guys but editing takes time and if I'm in the studio working on a project I'm not editing I'm not it, uh, it takes a long time to edit sometimes uh, sometimes as long longer than it took to record the video because you're watching all the video footage and then you have to cut out pieces and add things and you know do all that stuff and ho oh, hum it's not all it's not as much fun I don't hate the editing I don't hate it but I don't love it as much as I like creating and this person in front of me is literally staring at me through their rearview mirror like how creepy is that yeah I get a lot of stares when I oh oh you guys are falling I gotta figure I gotta fix this that's terrible so um, yeah I get a lot of stares while I talk to you guys in my car just so you know a lot of stares at the crazy lady with the pink hair talking to herself it's just how it goes so I'm pulling into the post office if you can hear my annoying blinker right now um, ooh, another person staring no oh, look at you guys are gonna fall over I'm terrified my camera's gonna go flying across my car and crash and break or something so okay so I'm at the post office and I will see y'all in a minute and we'll see if I got my book let's hope fingers crossed I don't cross my fingers very good happy mail okay so still no book from Letha I'm starting to worry about it I'm really starting to worry um, not that she didn't send it she sent it I'm just starting to worry that it's not gonna get here 
I hope the post office didn't lose it or something. But um, I got happy mail from Nadine, a big fat envelope full of goodness, and this is a P.O. box. Okay, so um, from Heidi, look at this cool envelope. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys this. Yeah, getting stared at. Okay. That's okay. I'm loud too. They can hear me through my windows because I'm stopped in the whole in the hotel parking lot, <laughs> post office parking lot, and then a ginormous envelope <laughs> from Jennifer. It's a PO box too, so I'm not showing you guys anything bad. Huge. Um, so I am going to refuse to allow myself. To look at this I, I just I can't stand these post office stickers thank goodness they come right off though so that they don't damage because this envelope is like it's collage papers it's gorgeous painted paper like who who would want to ruin that okay I'm gonna put this all in the back seat so that I'm not tempted I want to look so bad I'm going to wait until I get home I promise and I may have to wait until tomorrow if I don't have enough time to do this I'm gonna have to make time. I don't. I don't know. I have to be home at a certain hour, so that helps because I, I do have to be home in time to pick up a child from school. So that limits my shopping. Oh, oh I forgot to get money for lunch. I was supposed to pull a twenty out of the drawer that my, where my husband hides his cash, and I forgot. That's okay. I'll just spend it. <laughs> this is bad. I'll spend it on his debit card, and then I'll steal the twenty because he's expecting me to. <laughs> and then, and then, and then it'll be okay because the debit card goes out of his account too, our main account. I should say our account. It's not his. It's ours. But you know, he's the only one who puts money in it. <laughs> so that's how it goes. That's how it goes in the Rossi household. He makes the money and I spend it. That's how it is. Oh, and the girls. Oh my. He lives in a house full of girls. I mean, it's not so bad now because. My eyes watering. I put my eye drops in, but it's still watering. Oh, and I forgot that I have a little bit of mascara on. So I have like crammed all my eyelashes together. Am I pretty today? Except for the squinty eyes because it's so bright. Yeah. I tried just a little bit for you, Sarah. I put on a little makeup. Yeah. Not typical for me, but it just was one of those days. There we go. It's hot. It's hot already. I am scared. Okay, it's not that hot yet. Let's see what it is. Yeah, my car's lying because it says 70 and it's not 70. It's way warmer than that. It's going to be 88 today. Do you know if it's illegal to record and talk to yourself? It can't be, right? Like, they can't do anything about it. I'm passing a police officer who's watching me talk to myself. So, that's interesting, right? I get to see him play. Like, why are you talking at me? I'm not. I'm talking to my friends. That's what I'm talking. He was looking at me funny. That's okay. So off to Tuesday morning because it's on the way to the chiropractor. Well, it's not really because I could get on the freeway and bypass everything and get there really fast. But we're going to take surface streets and get to Tuesday morning instead because that sounds like way more fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. I lost my train of thought. I don't know. I'm distracted by the pile of happy mail that is behind me in my car. It's calling to me. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? I can hear it. It's saying, open, 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 open me. Open, 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 open me. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm weird. But y'all love me for it, so that's okay. Um, well... I don't know what else I gotta say, so I might just have to see y'all after Tuesday morning and tell you if I found anything. What do you say to that? I think that works. So, um, I am going to turn off the camera and focus on driving, and <laughs> I will see you guys after Tuesday morning, and we see if I found anything cool in there. Hey y'all, okay, so I'm actually on my way home, and it's very bumpy, and you're wiggling around like crazy, and I'm sorry, I hope I'm not making you car sick. It'll be over in a minute, right Right about now. Okay, oh, better road. Okay, so I just got done having lunch with Sarah, and she took me to this place called Jimmy John's, and thank you for lunch. I can't believe I forgot to say it at the restaurant. Thank you for lunch. I'll text you in a minute. Uh, I can't believe I did. I got hugs, but I didn't say thank you because I'm so rude. 
it, maybe I did and I don't remember, but oh my gosh, if I didn't, I have to like four times now. Thank you for lunch. Um, she took me to a place called Jimmy John's. I've never heard of it before. They have pretty yummy sandwiches. I rather liked it. It was good stuff. It was. And the company was way better, so that's all that matters. We had a good time visiting, and I got to look through her doodle art journal. Ooh, that was loads of fun. I gotta tell y'all, the pictures she posts on Facebook do not do justice. Do not do justice to her doodles. They're awesome. Um, I have the doodle that she made for me. It is incredible. She even hid my name in it. I am blown away. It is so incredible. Get to see it so it was a good time we had a nice visit and I got to poke around in her little travel art bag she carries everything around with her all the time I'm so proud of her I don't I don't I run home to journal and she just has all her stuff she's like ready to go right now all the time it's crazy it's crazy I love it I couldn't do it oh freeway oh people are getting crazy on the freeway right now just one lane is closed and everybody goes nuts. It's kind of insane. It, it's just not that big a deal. Okay, so um, I, I went to Tuesday morning and I was going to show you what I got. But I really didn't get anything. I bought Sarah a cup like mine that I showed you guys last time with the C on it. I got her a little cup with a W because her last name starts with W. They didn't have any S's. So I got her a little cup for a gift. And... Um, I'm sorry I'm all sniffly. I, I'm allergic to something. We sat outside for lunch and I'm either allergic to something around there or I'm allergic to her cats. I don't know. She said, I'm careful because, you know, she has a kitty. And so, I don't know, but I'm sniffly and I'm sorry. Um, but I didn't find anything. I got her the cup and I got a set of file folders that are beautiful. They're very pretty, cute 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 file folders and I think I'm going to use them to help me separate my happy mail and I can label I kind of like knowing who gave me what when I'm using it I really do and so I've kept them in the envelopes and I've stuck them all in a storage my pretty pink storage box right on my table so that I can get to it but I was thinking maybe if I put them in file folders and tape the side shut so it's just like a pocket on the top it would be a good way and then it has a spot where I could put your name so that I will know who sent me what happy mail and that I'm using and then I kind of started thinking that maybe I want to have another journal I have so many half-finished journals laying around it's crazy so um, yeah but I still want a new one I want another one my thought being that I could use it with all this stuff that you guys send me and I could have like a, a crazy island family happy mail journal that would just make me feel so happy to look at with all the stuff that you guys have sent me um, I can't wait to get home and do the happy mail unveiling that's gonna be a good time it's gonna be a good time it's gonna have to be separate from this video because there's a lot there's a lot so I won't I won't mash them together and do a car chat slash mail haul I'm just gonna do the car chat and then I'll do the mail haul so that's pretty much all I got going on I got to finish the project the Hawaii project so I can do a flip through of the folio you guys can see them they're pretty cool they're pretty cool and I'm, I'm excited for it to be done um, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to finish it before I open the Happy Mail because I don't think I have that kind of patience to wait to open the Happy Mail because those envelopes, they like, oh, they call to me. They call to me. They're like, open me. I can hear them in the back seat of the car right now trying to talk me into opening them. So <laughs> I'm going to. I'm terrible at Christmas too. Y'all should see me. I'm horrible. I like presents. Presents make me happy. They can be presents for me or for somebody else. I don't care. I don't care who the presents are for. I just like presents. So 
I'm like the awful child at the birthday party going, is it present time yet? Is it present time yet? Because I'm ready. I want to open the presents. Let's open the presents. I don't care that it's your four-year-old's birthday party. Let's see what they got. I want to see their face when they open something that they're so excited about that they just can't contain themselves. I want to see that expression. So let's open the presents, right? And Christmas is horrible at my house because my kids will want to open them early and I'm all for it all for it. My husband is the only one who keeps us under any semblance of control in our house because otherwise we'd be off the charts just, we'd just be completely, uh, there's no good word for it. We'd be like that crazy in our house. That's us. That's what we would be. We'd be off the charts. Yeah, I shouldn't say bad words on camera. It's bad. I shouldn't say it. So maybe I'll bleep that later. We shall see. But yeah, um, driving on the freeway and I have a tire that's really low on air and I'm feeling it. Like I can feel it. It's scaring me. I want off the freeway. I don't like it. So any hoosies, I'm going to finish my drive home and um, I don't think there's going to be anything else on this video because you don't want to see my file folders. I'll show them to you later in the mail haul video. I got nothing else. I was hoping to have something great to show you from Tuesday morning real quick while I was sitting in the car, but it's not happening. So all you get is running around with me and you probably don't want to listen to me ramble all the way home. So if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss anything. Quick thumbs up. Let me know if you like my car chat so I know whether to keep making them or not. I appreciate it. It helps me know what you guys like. And any way that you want to contact me, my P.O. box, my email address, all my links to my other social media are all down below in the description. You can find me there. I'll also put links to my courses if you're interested in taking any classes from me, as well as the information for the Hannah Montana Altered Book Project, which is free. I mean, there's no, it's not a course. It's just a fun thing that we're all doing together. So if you want to check that out, the information about it's down there. Other than that, I hope y'all are having a great day and a great week. I'm having a good day still, just like I planned. And I'm going to go home and have some more good days. So I hope that y'all have a good rest of your day, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.